I'm really excited. Uh, the channel is starting to come together. Yeah, we're, we're putting things right, and um, I think we're doing all the right things. And so I thought it was time that we started to talk about something, kind of what's kickstarted this whole thing. Actually, I take that back. I think the movie that I really wanted to talk about first was Baby Driver, and we'll get to that. But um, some friends of mine, the Callaways, they went to go see a movie called The Greatest Showman. And I didn't want to be left out, so I saw it shortly after they did, and my God, it was amazing. We had, well, not we, but I mean, they had fun, and then I had fun as well, but so all together, we all had a great time when we went to go see this movie, and it's fantastic. It's amazing. I know a lot of people aren't aware of its origins and what it's about, uh, so that's why I also brought in uh, my friend Tommy. Hey! And uh, he's, we're going to talk a little bit about the movie. Um, so, a little rough synopsis of what it's about. It's basically about uh, P.T. Barnum from uh, Barnum & Bailey Circus and kind of how he came to be, you know, the world's greatest entertainer. Um, he started off from humble beginnings. The movie's about his life and what he kind of had to go through. Now, total... It's not a true story. It's not you're not watching a documentary. There are a lot of books on his life that you if you want that side of it. This was a movie loosely inspired by P.T. Barnum. And it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I didn't even know it was a musical when I walked into it. Did you? I had no idea. Did you know anything about it before you went to go see it? Uh, I knew Wolverine was in it. Hugh Jackman, not Wolverine. <laughs> And, yeah, I mean, for those of you who don't know, Hugh Jackman is actually like a Tony award-winning, you know, musical person. He wasn't always just the Wolverine. Uh, he started off in theater and as a Broadway uh, Broadway star. Well, I don't know if he started that way, but that's where he was before he transitioned over into film. So I sat down at the theater and, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go take, take a look at this. I'd seen the posters, really didn't know much about what it was, but then... As soon as it came up, it opened with this fantastic musical number, and I was hooked right away. It was absolutely amazing. What did you like when that first that first music number came up? What, what were you thinking? Well, so the movie started, and I was like, "Ah, oh, it's a musical." But then uh, I started hearing how how great of a singer he was, and I was like, "Oh, okay, it's a musical. All right." I just thoroughly like I'm not a person that usually goes and watches musicals, but I thoroughly enjoyed every second of the film. Absolutely, yeah, I loved it. See, I'm a huge musical fan. Um, Hamilton was what kind of got me back into. Not, I don't want to say got me back into, but just kind of reignited that flame for theater and and film and like really having that deep appreciation for it and. I mean, for the theater, no, sorry, for movies, this is kind of what Hamilton is. They took an old true story about somebody and they put contemporary music to it and made it awesome. Uh, throughout the movie, you'll see um, different characters. Some of them are true, true in P.T. Barnum's life. Some of them are completely made up, which is why I said the movie is loosely inspired by P.T. Barnum's life. Again, this is not one of those movies, if you are looking for like a true documentary, something very educational about the, the true life of Phineas Taylor Barnum, do not go watch this movie. You will be sorely disappointed. But if you want to go watch a fun, roaring musical with gorgeous scenery and these magnificent dance numbers and music that's awesome, then yeah, this is going to be great for you. Uh, the director, I think his name is Michael Gracie, um, he was a cinematographer before he was, this is his first directorial debut. Uh, and he, I, I think he did a great job. I mean, of course you could, after you watch it, you'll find some flaws here and there. And you, of course in the storytelling, but again, like I, I'm not a film snob. I don't, I didn't go to school. You know, I'm not one of those guys who's going to go watch a movie and be like, Oh no, this isn't Oscar worthy. Get it out of here. No, like I, I go to the, I go to the movies to just have a genuine good time. And I think. I feel like this movie really did that. Let me ask you this, though. What was your favorite song? Uh, there's a scene where they're in a bar together. I think the song is called The Other Side. It is. It's where uh, Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron. Uh, my wife loved the movie because Zac Efron was in it. She won't tell me why. But <laughs> then uh, they're, they're singing and the choreography is really cool and the bartender's in it and they're doing shots. It's just freaking awesome. 
Yeah, and so it's funny because Zac Efron plays his protege in the movie uh, by, uh, his name is Philip Carlyle, and Philip Carlyle is completely made up. Philip Carlyle never came into P.T. Barnum's life. It, again, he's one of those characters where they completely made it up just for the movie. And honestly, again, if you're not trying to look at a, you know, a biopic of, of his life, it's fine. It, 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 it adds to the movie, you know, having this little guy around who just kind of took takes over the show and, you know, Ooh, I was about ooh, I was about to drop a spoiler on and nope, I won't do that to you guys for those who still so, want to go see so it. So what would you do? Would you give it a like a three out of ten? I'd probably <laughs> give it like maybe more like a nine out of ten. Yeah, me too. It was pretty good. It's it's just a lot of fun. Again, if you don't if you're not trying to be a snob about it, like it is such a good movie to just go watch and have fun. I'm trying to convince my wife to go see it. She's a little upset with me that I saw it without her. Uh, twice shut up <laughs> <laughs> but it was I mean I couldn't help it like I she's not a huge musical person I mean I know she does like them like we went to go see Hamilton together and she had a blast but uh so I mean like me I'm not gonna let that ruin my good time so I'm, I'm slowly but surely convincing her to get back into it so I think we're gonna go see it this weekend and have a good time all right yeah well anything else you want to say about the movie yeah, it's, uh, I don't see a lot of movies twice, but I'm. This is one of the movies, few movies that I would probably like to see twice. What would you rate it? Probably like a solid nine out of ten. Okay, a nine out of ten from you too. See, yeah. see, and that's from a guy who doesn't even watch movies that often, or sorry, watch musicals that often. There you go. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, you guys, I. I'm really excited because, like I said, like a lot of stuff is coming with the help of Tommy here. Uh, he's been really kind of guiding me uh, and helping me along to create all this content for the YouTube channel. And I'm I'm really excited for the things that are yet to come. Um, I have some cool whiskey things that are be coming up soon. So if you've ever thought about drinking whiskey and like, hmm, I don't know if uh, what what's the right way to do it, we're gonna teach you that way real soon. Um, all right, guys. Well, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, until then, uh, see you next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>